As child care facilities continue to welcome more kiddos, they now face the challenge of meeting CDC health and safety guidelines. Brenda Peak from Day Nursery of Abilene has been with the facility for 27 years. I have a lot of people who need child care. We get phone calls every single day. And she says they now have four facilities to keep up with the high demand. We have a huge waiting list and our centers stay full. But with the pandemic, they've had to take a step back. We're not able to roll, enroll to full capacity right now. Um, we're close, we're at about 75%. President and CEO of Day Nursery Abilene, Cynthia Pearson, began working for the facility in 1991. And as she approaches nearly 30 years of service, she says when the list of essential workers came out, her profession wasn't on it, despite their need to serve families. And interestingly enough, uh, the, the first list of essential workers that were put, was put out by the governor's office did not include child care. So we were like, okay, um, we're not essential, but <laughs> there they are. After the new list of essential workers came out, she says daycares were added to the list. And numbers started to increase. What happened during that time, though, is we started taking care of children who weren't normally enrolled at Day Nursery, but they were essential worker children. And so we had extra kids in the center. Day Nursery of Abilene is now trying to balance their new kids and add in the old while the waiting list continues to grow. In Abilene, Monica Diaz-Meek, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.